Yeah, obviously, oh, one of the best environments in college basketball tonight, right? Um, record attendance here at the pavilion. Uh, it really starts with our student body getting here early and not only coming to the game, but just bringing the energy and uh, bringing the juice. So that's pretty cool. Uh, been fortunate to coach in a lot of great environments over the years, and um, tonight was special. So we're building something here. It's year one, but to have this kind of game in late January uh, with our students show up like this, our season ticket holders were there in full force. Thank you. Um, not only thank you for the attendance, but thank you for impacting the game with the environment. So, um, you know, that's pretty cool. Um, you know, college basketball is a player's game. It always has been. It always will be, in my opinion. So whenever you beat a really good team, it's well coached like we did tonight. You know, you had some guys step up. So certainly Juju uh, to have 11 assists and only one turnover in the game. Um, it's kind of disappointed about the one turnover, but um, the 11 assists, it was elite. His mind was in the right place. Juju's had some really good <laughs> offensive coaches growing up in the Bronx. I'm still waiting to talk to the guy who taught him how to play defense, but um, we won't talk about that tonight. Um, and obviously, TJ, I think I said this the other night, those of you that were here, uh, this wasn't a one-game deal. TJ's hes uh, been really doing well uh, in practice. He's getting himself ready. In my mind, it's just four or five straight games where the young guy's been really ready to play and dialed in. Tonight, the basket opened up to him with his talent, got two steals, some big rebounds. So player's game, you know, we don't we don't win tonight without uh, TJ's performance coming off the bench. Really proud of TJ. Question for Juju. <clears throat> Juju on the right. Juju, this was your, your first time playing in this rivalry game. What, what was it like to play in, in this sort of environment? Um, my first time playing in this type of environment, rivalry game, it was it was fun. You know, it was fun. It was fun playing out there. I feel like the students, the whole crowd in general, you know, they brought a lot of energy to the game, and we were just feeding off of it. Could you do in a game where your counterpart on the point guard side, Josh Hubbard, is electric in the first half? How do you respond to that? What does that do to you mentally seeing him play that way? Just got to guard, get stops, you know. Try not to let the first half dictate what's going on in the second half, you know, and just keep playing hard. TJ Coach Saul said that you had a different look in your eye after that Arkansas game. Before that Arkansas game, you feel that you came in tonight with that same type of feeling that you had going into that Arkansas game? I mean, just throughout the season, I've just been continuing to work, keeping my head down, staying together with the team. And when it's my time, it's my time. And that was obviously tonight. TJ, I mean, we were late into the second half when you missed your first shot of the night. Just describe to me how it feels to have been so successful from the field. I mean, I work so much. I mean, I'm kind of not surprised. I mean, uh, guys shot us before the game yesterday, you know, just keeping the work up. TJ, shots weren't falling for some of your teammates early in the match. What did you kind of notice that it was kind of the onus was on you to step up and hit these shots? Uh, I think it wasn't on anybody to just to step up. I think it's team effort, all of us. If somebody not hitting shots, we've got enough players where somebody else can hit shots. So, yeah. Last time I heard match was on Ted Lasso. <laughs> I like it, though. Good, good basketball match tonight, TJ. Appreciate it, Coach. Juju hitting that three at the end of the first half, I guess what kind of momentum did that give you going into the locker room? Um, it gave us a lot of momentum, you know, but I feel like that didn't really do too much. We were just trying to figure out what we got to do on the defensive end because just like you said, uh, the point goal, you know, he was playing good, you know. He was breaking us down, making plays for the other teams, scoring himself. So it wasn't really about the shot too much. It was just what can we change in the, going into the second half? Davis, WAPT Sports of Jackson, good to meet you. Um, kind of going off that last question, it seems like in recent games you've kind of been the guy to take the big shots late in the shot clock. Kind of, How did that come to be, and have you always kind of been told you have that clutch gene? I mean, most of the time when, like, taking big shots is confidence from yourself, you know, and your teammates and your coaching staff believe in you. Like I always say, you know, I believe in my coaching staff, they believe in me, I believe in my teammates, they believe in me, so... Just them giving me the ball when it's time to, you know, probably make a big shot or even if it's not a big shot, a big play, you know, it just means a lot. TJ, how do you stay ready for moments like this? Uh, just keeping my head down, not worrying about any results from the previous games, just continuing to work and continuing to perform.